According to the latest population and housing census conducted by the Ghana Statistical Service, some 73,516 girls in the northern region, 27,930 from the Savannah region, and 22,857 from the northeast region have the highest number of girls who are not in school. Addressing participants at a stakeholder engagement on improving girls' education in Ghana, Northern Regional Minister Alhaji Alhassan Shani Shaibu noted that girls' education has been plagued by a, a lot of challenges. Investing in girls' education is probably the most self, the most cost-effective measure a developing country can take to improve its standards of living. However, girls' education has been plagued by a lot of challenges, including poverty, child marriage, social cultural norms that devalue the importance of female education, lack of infrastructure that supports girls in schools, long distance access school amongst others. For his part, Executive Director at Star Ghana. Rahim Tanku Amidu wants stakeholders to reconsider the strategies used in addressing the challenges associated with girls' education. Issue does not lend itself to one course. So it is the interplay of a number of courses. Poverty is a key issue. But so are traditional and religious beliefs and practices. That's affects girls' education. So when we talk about girls' education, we are looking at access which has improved, you know, enrollment has improved, we've gained gender parity. It is the retention across, you know, from primary to junior high to SHS that is a problem. And it's the performance that is also a problem. So why girls are enrolled, the reasons are a bit different from what makes them not stay in school, which are a bit different from what makes them not perform as well as their male counterparts. So we need to unpack all these things and to 